video gaming with the U.S. Army, and a dental readiness reminder. This is the Regional Health Report. Welcome to the Regional Health Report for August. I'm Ann Krebs. Electronic sports, also known as eSports, has come to the U.S. Army. The Army eSports program started in November of 2018 as a public outreach initiative. Soldiers compete individually or as a member of a team. One soldier on the team is assigned to Troop Command South, Fort Belvoir, Virginia. I started playing video games in my parents' house and started playing Nintendo and all sorts of other little video games that came out for kids. Um, as I progressed, and World of Warcraft came out. It's been around for about 14 years, and so I figured it was a good way not to continue to spend money on video games and just pick one and keep playing it. So we competed in the Mythic Dungeon. Um, it's a competition that's put out through the world. Teams compete against each other to run a dungeon as fast as possible, and the affixes or what you can do in that dungeon change and shift based off of what you've done previously. We did very well. We placed 18th out of the world, and myself, I, did, I was the 10th currently out of 5,000 on my server. The gaming community as a whole could present a great um, approach to improve reaction, adapting to the situations, and just readiness overall. There is no other program that I'm aware of that uh, any other military affiliations have, specifically to compete against civilians, against anybody who is playing the games. This is a brand new program. I feel like the more that we get exposed and the more exposure we have due to the community, the better it's going to get. Dental health plays a big part in overall readiness. The soldiers and civilians at U.S. Army Dental Health Activity, Fort Stewart, Georgia, ensure soldiers are ready to deploy. Zach Renstrom visited the Oral Maxiofacial Surgery Clinic to capture the team in action. We are in the Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery Clinic here. We are part of the dental unit and we perform a lot of extractions. We do dental implants and we usually work in the facial area and also the upper and lower jaws. And our scope of care does extend to some trauma and bone grafts and things along those nature. Our focus is on ensuring that the soldier is ready to deploy really at any time. So our focus is a lot of dental and oral health. If anything that's affecting the soldier sort of takes them out of the readiness capability, that's where we come in. Dental in the Army it adds to combat effectiveness by making sure that the soldier is ready to go when they're ready to go. No worries in the back of their mind about a tooth or anything bother them within their mouth. They can be able to go and do effectively what they need to accomplish for the Army without any worries or dental concerns. We're trying to establish a very strong team concept within the clinic. We work in small areas that are hard to see, and a lot of times you're relying on your assistant or other personnel within the clinic to be a separate extension of the whole procedure in general. We're all moving together as one unit. In other news around the region, the results are in from Tampa, Florida for the 2019 DOD Warrior Games. 18 Regional Health Command Atlantic soldiers stood on the winner's platform to receive their gold, silver, or bronze medals. The final count for the region was 35 medals. Captain Casey Turner from the Warrior Transition Unit at Fort Bragg, North Carolina, won the silver medal in the Ultimate Championship during the Games. We talked to Captain Turner about her experience. Uh, the Ultimate Championship is a competition for selected athletes from each branch competing in eight uh, events in the eight different disciplines at the DoD Warrior Games. Uh, that includes cycling, swimming, archery, air rifle, powerlifting, rowing, and shot put and discus. I competed in all the events at the regional trials in Hawaii um, in order to be selected as the Ultimate Champion and I carried that through at the Army trials and I'm glad to have been selected, but it was quite a competition to prepare for. Uh, I think the big thing is about being a part of the Army team is the family that we've developed, and I think the relationships that developed are what helped us succeed so well. Um, to look in the crowds and see your fellow teammates that weren't competing, but they're cheering is, once again, inspirational, but also, you know, such a warm feeling, and, and that's, that's more important than the medals that you win at the end of the day. 
General. The Regional Health Command Atlantic welcomes a new commanding general. Major General Talita Crossland Lieutenant relinquished General command West to Brigadier General, General Michael Place in a ceremony here at Fort Belvoir, Virginia. So we are ready to go fight when our nation's wars, whenever called upon. That's what we do. Place is the brother of former Regional Health Command Atlantic Commanding General, Major General Ronald Place. That's the Regional Health Report. Join us next month for another show highlighting health and readiness across the region. In the meantime, don't forget to check us out on your favorite social media sites, YouTube and on iTunes. Thanks for joining us.